sorry, Mick. I know it hurts. It threatens to engulf me as well. But from now on, we can share it together. Oh my god! Lord, please give guidance to this poor lost soul. All I wanted was for us to always be together. The Paris bound Hero Star train will be leaving 15 minutes to my schedule. Thank you for using Euro Star. I'm sorry. Welcome to London, Father. Go with God, my child. Our subject is a 20-year-old male. Time of death is approximately 72 hours ago. However, the subject has been mobile up until 12 hours ago. I don't see any real cell deterioration yet. I'm making the first incision. He was the son of a noble Italian family attending a local university. We have to keep this autopsy quiet. You'd think his family would have instilled some discipline. Gentlemen don't drink other people's blood. Such behaviors reserved for peasants. <laughs> Let's take a look, shall we? We've got one. The chip's not functioning, though. These chips are becoming a problem. Is it possible that this recent increase in vampire activity is part of some larger unseen plan? It still doesn't change the Helsing Organization's mission. Search and destroy. Yeah. By the way, Lieutenant... May I assume that you will look into the boy's known associates and his whereabouts before the incident? We've already begun our investigation. Hmm. Right. Stitch up the incisions. Sir, isn't the protocol to burn all of our NHB remains? This one doesn't belong to us. Hmm? He's a foreigner. Someone from Rome will be picking up his body later. We pulled the bug. He won't be a problem. Yes, sir. God, I'm tired. Dead. Truly dead. What do you think you're doing, police girl? Sorry. How many times do I have to tell you? If you don't drink, you will become weak. Your physical strength should be far beyond that of any normal human being. But just look at yourself. I know that I need it. It's just... I hear a voice in my head. It's not right. I feel like I'm changing into something so inhuman. Hi. 
day. God be with you, child. <laughs> Humans creating vampires. What do you think that says about the world we've created, Alucard? I think it says that history is full of man's cheap imitations. Perhaps that's just your true vampiric pride talking. Tell me, what in essence is the difference between the true vampires we fought for centuries and these chipped human creatures? I know you're nothing like those creatures. It was uncalled for. Then why did you feel the need to say it? You humans are incomprehensible. You and the police girl. Yes? I understand. Send them in. Come in. Mick, I just wanted to be with you forever. I know you understood, Mick. Didn't you? Answer me, Mick, please. I can't see you. Where are you? Mick, where did you go? Vatican and their Section 13 Bureau, and damn the Iscariot organization! So far, the London police have kept him in the basement, but it's only a matter of time before the dead police become ghouls and overpower them. Even without the chip, once they've been tainted, they will never be human again. I'm surrounded by idiots. Helsing Company A reporting. We've prepped C3 and are now leaving for the crime scene. May God and Her Majesty be with you. Amen. Amen. Go! 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 Send over Alucard as well. But this mission hardly rates one vampire. I will not repeat myself, Walter. Understood? Yes. This is a Protestant country. I will not allow the Vatican to run rampant. <laughs> Victoria. Yes, sir. I want you to hold your position here. P7, you're going in. I can do this. What's going on? Norton! 
my god. What's it doing? He's calling out someone's name. Sounds like Mick. Mick's body has already been cremated. When you fire, make sure you only aim for the heart or the head. Master... Those men inside that hospital did not choose to become ghouls. And once they've been tainted, there is no way for them to ever be normal again. The best that you have left to offer them is a quick death. Don't hesitate. Yes, sir, Master. Even with your little human friends, you're still a corrupted, inhuman monster. <coughs> Poor Enrico Stivaletti's soul is lost, but his mortal remains will at last find peace at the hands of this most sacred blade. I shall now place one more soul to rest. I am the instrument of God, messenger of the divine punishment of heaven. What? You shouldn't have come here, Catholic. Don't try to talk, police girl. Your body is weak. Well, no. You must be the Helsing family's pet abomination. You are from Iscariot. I see. Iscariot was ridding the world of sacrilegious monsters such as yourself centuries before the Helsing family ever existed. Defile this place. I purify this house so filthy creatures can't use their cheap black magic. <laughs> Our mission is to punish any heretic who would deny the word of God. We will crush your unholy body and salt the earth with your dust. Amen. It's time somebody put you in your place, human. Sing on that blade, haven't you? <laughs> this bullet was for a vampire, but it'll do to send you to hell, father. Master. Weird little toy of his actually hurt. That sort of weapon can be a real problem, even for us. A 
regenerator. A human regenerator. I take an eye for an eye. This technology god's divine gift. The Lord gives us tools to fight inhuman demons like you. You're less than inhuman, a pitiful defect. A failed science project. Sending you back to your maker would be an act of mercy. Your regeneration power is impressive. But I bet if I put enough bullets into your skull, you'll stay down for good. So let's cut to the chase. Start begging. Empty threats of a coward vampire who hides behind the weapons of man. That's enough, huh. Paladin Alexander Anderson. You don't have the authority to command one who's a true servant of God. I said that's enough. Now that Enrico Stivaletti has been silenced, your mission in our country has come to an end. Your business has been concluded. Well, that's funny. I thought my business was killing vampires. You've already exceeded your authority, and you will suffer the consequences of your actions today. New orders from the Archbishop. Huh? The Archbishop has ordered you to return to the Vatican immediately. You will leave by the good graces of Her Majesty. I look forward to the next time we meet, Sir Integra Wingates Helsing. There's no room in the Helsing family for a vampire that gets pummeled by a regenerator, Alucard. Huh. Nor do we need a half-starved vampire who can't protect her own commander. Understood? I'm sorry, sir. Master Alucard. Police girl, you must drink my blood. <laughs> drink my blood. Only then will you be free of your servitude to me. Once you are free, you'll be ready to become true family. You won't be my master anymore. No, I won't. But you will become a master of the undead. You will drink blood and walk the night by your own will. Now drink my blood. Ceres Victoria. <laughs> so this is what you choose, police girl. I don't know. I'm not ready. Although, right now, I know I'm just...
there once was a priest with a blade. That's not a preview. We just saw that guy. He went things to men and then stopped when they went in the parasite palace he prayed. Ooh, I like that place. Really?